So in this video I'm going to demonstrate the video signal quality difference between the composite output and the RGB output on a Philips MSX2 VG 8235 machine. So I just uh, fixed the red signal um, because that was, uh, that was fell faulty due to a uh, faulty transistor. Uh, currently the screen is, um, currently I'm, I'm, I'm zoomed in on this 14 inch uh, PVM. As you can clearly see there are now, uh, the scan lines are really, really easy to uh, to see and also that there is no real overlap in pixels. Is that You can basically almost see the pixels from here. Uh, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to uh, switch the inputs to the composite input on the screen and then you can see the difference in uh, video signal quality. Uh, especially look at currently how crisp the different colors are. So it's the white against the red. Um, uh, so all colors that are really close to each other, the pixels and you'll see that they're currently really really sharp. Uh, and that's probably not the case if I'm now going to connect it to the composite uh, the composite signal. So I'm going to turn it off first. And now it is connected to one of the correct inputs. So the monitor is still turned on and turn on the computer. Um, oh, it's still connected as RGB so I have to disable RGB. Yeah and this is the this is the uh, composite signal. All right, let's check. Yeah, so this is the composite signal. Uh, although probably the signal seems to be even worse than I anticipated. So maybe that's because the connector isn't correctly. Well, no, it is. So that is a huge difference in uh, in quality. As you can see, uh, first of all, the, the thing that I notice is that the uh, let's see what the what can I fix on this one? The brightness seems to be a little bit. Yeah, this is this is the signal quality. So that is a a huge. A huge difference in uh, in signal quality. So, hope you find this useful.